In this set, we would talk about two data interpretation questions from 2021 paper. Uh, the first question talks about the courses. In the courses, there are number of students, the percentage of male and percentage of female students across all courses are given. But the number of the male and the female students are not given. So how do you calculate it? Now the question says, find the total number of male students in the college. How would you do it? 65 divided by 100 into 400, 54 divided by 100 into 650 and so on for all of these. This would give you the total number of male students. So you would have total number of male students okay similarly find out the difference between the total number of male students and total number of female students we already calculated the total number of male students now for the female students again the same thing 35 into divided by 100 into 400 uh, 46 divided by 100 into 650 25 divided by 100 into 280 which is the total number of students you would get the count for the female we already got the count for the males in the last question okay now keep the two counts ready with you and count a minus count b would give you the answer as simple as that so any question you are doing on data interpretation it's a good idea if you are solving something for one of the questions keep that safe don't do it a lot in rough uh, keep the values safe because those could be used for the next set for example the total number of male students we already calculated in the last question useful here as well you need not to repeat that again the next is difference between the male students in the graduation bsc msc so these two students for the male so 65 by 100 into 400 54 by 100 into 650 and uh, the male students for post graduation okay so it would be 75 by 100 into 280 and 55 by 100 into 340 okay so this mine uh, and this the difference of these two i would take and that would be what so that would be my uh, i would i would find this value i would find this value i would add these I would find this value, I would find this value, add these two values and then I would take the difference between the two sets of values and that would be the answer here. Similarly, if I want to find the ratio of female students in graduation to female students in post-graduation, I cannot take the percentage. I would have to change that to absolute value. So, so female students in graduation by female students in post graduation so it would be 35 divided by 100 into 400 plus 46 divided by 100 into 650 whole divided by 25 divided by 100 into 280 plus 45 divided by 100 into 340 and that would give me the ratio the next question I want to find out the ratio of male students in post graduation to male students in PhD program. So I would find out the ratio or uh, the total number of students in uh, master's program divided by the total number of students in PhD program. So that would be denominator would be 65 by 100 into 180. Numerator would be 75 by 100 into 280 plus 55 by 100 into 340. Clear? The next question. Uh, so these were the questions based on one of the sets. The second set had a different uh, topic. It had number of corona tests being done in each hospital. So across each hospitals, how many tests were done is given in the bracket. So total how many tests? 100, 100, 50, 50. So total 300 tests were done across four cities. Okay. And how many came positive have been written in the values. Now the first question says which city reported highest number of positive cases. So city one, I'll add up all these data city 2 i'll add up all these data city 3 and city 4 so city 3 and 4 visualization i can say they are less city uh, 1 and 2 are more but again uh, 1 is more than 2 okay so city 1 would have the highest data because here i cancel 10 with 10 okay 30 with 30 35 with 35 so there is 5 more in city 1 than city 2 City 3 and 4 have smaller values, so I can simply ignore those. So City 1 would become the right option. So I am adding the values horizontally here. The next question is, what is the percentages of percentage of positive cases in City 4? So in City 4, how many positive cases? I would add these. Okay, so it would be 10 plus 5 plus 5 plus 15. So that makes it 35 positive cases in City 4. Out of how many? So this 35 cases are out of? 100 cases, uh, this 35 cases are out of how many cases? 
this 35 cases are out of the total number of positive cases so what is the total number of positive cases it is the sum of all positive cases okay so when i add all these positive cases how much i get i get 250 let's say okay so 35 divided by 250 into 100 and that would be the percentage of positive cases in city 4 getting the point here i am adding up the values of city 4 that gives me the positive cases in city 4. But how many positive cases in all? I need to add up all these values. And that comes out to be 250. Okay. So I divide 35 by 250 into 100. And that gives me the positive cases in city 4. The next is what is the percentage of negative cases? Now I have already calculated the positive cases are 250. 250 by 300 into 100. That gives me the number of positive cases. Let's say this is 83.3%. So what is the negative case? Negative case is 100 minus 83.3%. So that is somewhere around 16.6%. Okay. The next is which hospital recorded maximum number of positive cases? Now note, so far we were talking about cities. Now hospital. So we would add vertically. Okay. We would add the values vertically and we would say, okay, hospital B has less cases, hospital D has less cases, A and C I can compare. So 35, 35, 30, 30, 15, 15. Again, A has more cases. Okay. So A has the maximum number of cases. Rather than adding those, I can simply what I'm doing is I'm cutting the similar values to see where there is an increase. So A has more case than C. So A becomes my right option here. What is the ratio of positive cases in city 1 to positive cases in city 3? So city 1, I add all the values and city 3, I add all the values. I do the ratio that is the number of positive, let's say it's 90 in the city A and 40 in the city uh, 3. Okay, so city 1 and city 3, it would be 90 is to 40 or 9 is to 4 or 3 is to 2 would be my answer. Okay, so that's how we find out the ratio. So those were some of the data interpretation questions from your net paper 1 2021 examination. The basic idea is you have to be very quick. Don't waste a lot of time in calculating. Let's go through the choices, see if the approximations could be done. If nearby options are available, then that would be the answer. Thanks for joining in.